What is going on guys, Dilber here, and today I'm bringing you my video for Treasure Map Capone. Uh, sadly, I did not live stream my gameplay last night. I was actually quite busy the night of Treasure Map, so uh, I've got a lot going on at the moment, so I finally actually managed to sit down and do like the graphics and stuff for the recording. Um, this TM is actually pretty easy. Um, if you've, I'll, I'll leave uh, it linked to my like team builder setup, but um, I think most of the teams I made had at least some free to play options or some older legends that people should have by now. So I don't think there'll be too many issues with farming. Just get to, get to your 10 million points and just leave it at that because um, honestly, there's going to be a larger TM coming with anniversary. And you don't want to be burnt out from TM, from this crappy TM, when the future one's going to be much better. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. This is Invasion Capone. I've got the full boosted team, so I don't know if I really need to say much about that, but I will. Uh, so for this uh, Invasion, Capone has four stages instead of the normal three, just because Bonnie's cap, uh, special revolves around eating more recovery, does more of a affinity boost if the more recovery you eat. So they've given us an extra turn to try and get more recovery. So just, it doesn't really matter. Like this team's obviously gonna have, like since it's got such a high point boost, it's always gonna have the damage to take it down even at the higher nav levels. So if you do have all these, well done. If not, um, Shanks crew captain is a good sub. Um, I've seen some people using Hawkins. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, if you have the units, uh, Yamato is, it can help a lot with this, so uh, the free-to-play turtle Yamato. Anyway, um, stage three, he will bind your captains for six turns, as well as give the crew fear. Hawkins gets around all that. And then I just use a Bonnie superclass because he gives you the chain boundary uh, debuff. So if you don't have a chain over, I think it's 2.5. And then, so two taps easily takes that down. Okay, stage four, which is the final boss. He'll give you special silence, which you already resist. He will give you, you've still got the chain boundary thing, so make sure you have a, either a special, which Shanks would have given you three turns, or body super class. Um, Zora gets rid of the defense up at the threshold, and then Bonnie will give you an affinity booster and change orbs. If you use an orb change, he has an interrupt uh, that'll give you more debuffs, so just make sure you have a super class that can do that, or a, or like um, the support Bonnie. But he doesn't do anything, he doesn't do a death hit, so yeah, I will be back when we reach some of the other bosses. The first boss we have is against Duval. Duval is int, so I've just got a full team of Psy. I've got the non-booster opera just to get through like wave clear, to speed through all this, just to make it that little bit faster. And I have that uh, support rare recruit, uh, cho uh, not chopper, um, carrot on chopper, just to get rid of one turn of damage, uh, percent damage reduction because Garp only gets rid of four turns and then using his super class gets rid of the last turn of damage up. Uh, dam Damage reduction, sorry. So, Chopper and Garp are recommended, and they're both free to play, so that, that's very easy for this team. So you can just sub out the um, legends if you don't have them for other side units, and you'll be fine. Chopper gets rid of the special silence and the burn, and then Garp uh, gets rid of all of the defense issues with his special and his super type. Very easy, so if you don't have Ace or, like, Jinbei's not even needed, he's just a side unit that hits hard, so for later stages. And you can, there's plenty of, plenty of free-to-play units that can give you the chain boost that Ace gives you. So uh, he does revive with I don't know how much health, but it's like a minuscule amount. One like just as long as you got some matching orbs, you'll be able to take it down within one or two hits. So uh, there you go. We'll see you on the next boss.
俺は別格として今各運でやべえやつらが暴れてるらしいんだ Alright, next we have Law. We're using double Fuji captains because of the effect that happens. It's better to have Fuji as your captain be swapped with somebody in the bottom right. So I'll put Sabo there because he has a super type that can give you affinity. So first turn, I'm going to use Zoro, wave clear obviously. Second turn, I'm making a point of using the kid Luffy and then using Zoro to do wave clear just because of uh, how Luffy and Sabo interact when we go into the final stage. Um, Sabo's special will proc without me having to use it and that gets rid of the damage reduction so just a little bit faster than using a special and his super type for the affinity boost because Sabo special gets around the um uh, percent damage reduction if you don't have this Sabo uh the legend big mom no not legend um the treasure map big mom gets around that and also gives you full border of uh orbs as well so I've got the support relay on Luffy and it's just a pretty quick team to be honest um, and I've got Koala for extra damage later on and I can use other specials if I need. Anyway, next boss. Alright, next boss is Kid. It says that Kid can change to be Strength or uh, Int. I've never seen him uh, change to Strength at all in the 15 runs that I've done, so I've just made my team, so I'm always swapping to Psy Shanks to have same colour, and because the Redhead Pirates um, completely gets around everything that this Kid does, and they're a free-to-play unit from um, the previous Pirate Rumble, everybody should have this. If, I don't even use any other specials. The Redhead Pirates absolutely annihilate Kid. If you if you guys are manga readers, this is a really funny nod towards that. Anyway, no big deal. This is a very easy boss. Um, yeah, next one is up. Alright, the final boss is Kuma. I'm using the full, like, boosted list, but, like, the only ones you need is, um, X-Drake and Killer. If you have those two, it gets around everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can use, uh, Cat Dog Dual Unit for this as well, and they do get around the majority of the debuffs as well. So, there's also that if you don't have Killer and Cat Dog are also free to play now. Um, Caesar for Wave Clear, and, it's like, if you've got Kid, you can use... Um, kid is a captain instead of killer. Like it really doesn't matter. Like it's very, very easy. I still think um, cat dog is your best option if you don't have killer and X Drake because those are the only specials you need. And I'm pretty sure cat dog's uh, super switch will be uh, cool. Have the cooldown maxed if you choose to use them. And lastly, we have the final boss, which is Kizaru, which I'm using the full booster team again. So easy with the numbers, and if you have either Hawkins or, Sh or Shag's crew, gets around most of the debuffs you get from this uh, Kizaru. Um, because it's obviously the last boss team, you want to go for points over speed, so I've got, I've got, I don't have any like speed farming units. I just have everything that's required. Um, numbers are free to play and then I've just got all the rare recruits so 
As long as you can see what they do, uh, like which the treasure map planner I, I will again put down below, gives you all the information and you can choose which units you have. I get rid of the barrier with Blackbeard and the numbers get rid of the paralysis and the um, despair. And Kizaru will give, will buy in the top two units I believe and give you special reverse. So the numbers, since they have a state, uh, multiple special, a uh, multiple turn special, they've their turn one activates, so you can get rid of the paralysis with that. Euro gets around the special reverse, and Hawkins gets uh, rid of the bind as well as gives you, like, basically you can't die, as Kizaru does do death death damage. Um, I'm not sure if he has an interrupt when it comes to the block orbs, but yeah, Bonnie's, if you're using a friend, Captain Bonnie can get around them pretty easily. Anyway guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more One Piece Treasure Cruise content. Sorry this took a while to get out, but um, like I said, I've been pretty busy recently. I'll try and keep up, keep up uh, with some more content, uh, especially around the anniversary, but that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.